welcome to Tori's Nails. I'm Tori and I am so glad to have you here. In today's video, we are going to be sharing what products I use with my manicures, what little setup I have for my manicures. This does kind of change a little bit depending on where I paint my nails. I try to paint them here where I film, but depending on temperature and everything, where I am at currently, this is not air conditioned or heated. So if it gets too stifling hot or it's too cold in the winter time I tend to move it to my living room but the products themselves don't change just my little location might. I have several products that I want to share with you guys. I have done a Manny must haves video. This is similar to that but this is what I reach for every time I do my nails. It's readily available. It is right here. So this is kind of my little setup. So if you want to see what my little manicure setup looks like, just stay tuned. Okay, so what I have is this little light. This is a lamp that I got marked down at a store called Meyer. This is a little lamp that has outlets on it. Uh, let me see if I could show you guys. <laughs> All right, so this little lamp does have these little outlets on it, which I absolutely love. I think I paid like $5 for this lamp, but this is the station that I have for my manicures. This is everything that I reach for. I do keep a little notepad out here. This is just a basic notepad, and then I do have a pen if I have to jot anything down. That is kept out here pretty much all the time. I do also have a little permanent marker. This is what I use to label all of my swatch sticks or swatch wheels. So now on to like the nail care aspect of it. I do keep this little clothespin here. I use it if I am doing nail art like nail stamping. I will hold the cotton ball in my clothespin. Definitely is not the best and I have cotton fuzzies stuck to my light. But with this little light, as you can see, it has multiple different compartments in here. There are three in the front. There is a space here where I have my cuticle nippers. Then there are three more sections here in the middle. Same with the extra space here at the back where my notepad was. And then at the back here, you have bigger sections that actually are a little bit deeper. So hopefully you could kind of see there. This is just the setup I wanted. I had an older lamp that I used to keep all of my supplies in, but I didn't have the room I wanted. So I saw this on clearance and picked it up. So in the front here, we have a base coat. This is from Morgan Taylor. I am trying to use this up. It's not one of my favorites. This is their stick with it base coat. But I don't care for this one. I am just keeping it here to use it up. And once it's gone, it's gone. I already mentioned I have cuticle nippers out here. I do use those if I need them. I've got manicure sticks here. Most of these are for my polish making stuff. That's just where I put them. I don't use those on my cuticles at all. I do have a couple little cuticle pushers. I got these at Sally's Beauty. They do have the really nice rubber tip here and then it does have a little plastic tip here that you could use to push back your cuticles. I've got several cleanup brushes on this area. A couple of these I'm probably going to get rid of. I do have a few from e.l.f. These are just standard concealer brushes. I used to like these. I used to swear by them but they are not one of my favorites. I just don't know what it is. They're just not one of my favorites. They do work but they are a little bit thicker here, as you can tell, than what I kind of like. They do work well if you're on a budget. They do work really well. But then my husband found these three. This was a set on Amazon. So I have these three brushes. I love the packaging. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love the way these look. So I have three separate ones. So the first one here is going to be this style of a brush. The second one is an angled brush. So this is what that second brush looks like. I like these because they are a little bit less packed with bristles, which I find is easier for me to maneuver when I use them to clean up. Then the last one here 
is this one that does have a little bit of a rounded tip to it. These are a little bit on the flimsy side, so if that's something that you don't think is going to work for you, these may not be the brushes for you, but I feel like I really enjoy these. I didn't like them at first. It did take some getting used to. So the other things on here, I have my Holy Grail Rejuva Coat Nail Treatment. I put this on whether I have polish on or not. This is always on my nails. I have a top coat here that I use specifically for swatches. I don't care for this as a top coat for my personal use. This is a Morgan Taylor Make It Last top coat. And then one that I absolutely love is Cuticula. This is their quick dry top coat. I think it's Limitless Quick Dry Top Coat. This was from Polish Pickup. This is in the scent of Gummy Bears. If you haven't tried their top coat, I highly recommend it. This is a great quality top coat. You can tell I like it. It's almost gone. And then for another base coat, I use Orly Bonder. Not always because it's not always out here. So I do reach for the Morgan Taylor Sticky Base or I just don't use one. And then another top coat that I use that again is not out here in my station, but if I do my nails in my living room where this top coat and base coat are, I do use this. This is the KB Shimmer Quick Dry Top Coat, another one of my favorites, Holy Grail products. I do also have a little card for nail stamping that I keep in that little spot there. There's a couple other brushes here that are probably going to get decluttered. Um, I just don't like them for personal use. These are actually eye makeup brushes, but I needed something to try to do whatever I was doing, and I just don't use these, so those will probably be going. So the last couple things I have are nail files. This is something that I use pretty regularly. I have this nail file. This came from Sally Beauty. It is a very fine grit file. Definitely worn out. You could probably see it down here. It is very worn out at this point. They work well. I do file my nails instead of clipping them. I don't clip my fingernails. I never have. I just don't. My nails are a little bit more flexible and I don't want to mess them up by clipping them. So I file them when I want to shorten them. Then the next one I have is this one. This is another fine grit file from uh, Meyer, actually. It's a thin one, works really well. I feel like it does the job. I do have a crystal nail file that I got at Meyer. I don't use it, excuse me, I don't use it near enough. I really should. I just don't. I don't have it out here. I do need to bring it out here, so I use it. So the next couple things are just going to be polish removers. I don't specifically use this one. <clears throat> I don't specifically use this for personal use. It's for, um, like, when I'm doing my nail polish creations, I use it for cleanup and things like that. Then I have this bottle, which is 100% acetone. The one that I use, either or, I do have a polish remover from Zoya that... Hey, welcome to Tori's Nails. I'm Tori and I am so glad to have you here. In today's video, we are going to be talking about a requested topic. I am going to be sharing all about the pol I am going to be sharing what products I use with my manicures, what little setup I have for my manicures. This does kind of change a little bit depending on where I paint my nails. I try to paint them here where I film. But depending on temperature and everything, where I am at currently, this is not air conditioned or heated. So if it gets too stifling hot or it's too cold in the wintertime, I tend to move it to my living room. But the products themselves don't change, just my little location might. I have several products that I want to share with you guys. I have done a Manny Must Haves video. This is similar to that, but this is what I reach for every time I do my nails. It's readily available. It is right here. So this is kind of my little setup. So if you want to see what my little manicure setup looks like, just stay tuned. <laughs> 